All right, so we're going to do a rapid fired up because mm. Chris is going to have to pull me away from you. You've got many more things to do. So we have selected headlines about millennials. Ooh. Your job is to decide whether we just made these up hmm. or these are actual headlines about millennials. Interesting. All right. All right. All ready? Right. This it. is maybe not as hard as some of your other <laughs> interviews. Uh, number one, millionaire to millennials, stop buying avocado toast if you want to buy a home. Yeah, that sounds like something somebody said. That, that sounds is exactly, real. Yeah. That is real. This is a sad thing. Home ownership is a sad thing. Why well, choose? Yeah. Half of millennials say college wasn't worth the college loan debt. Ooh, I've heard, I've heard a lot of that on the trail. Is that real? It's real. Yeah. Churches, this is one, this is a good one for you. Churches are using Pokemon Go to get millennials to go to church. Oh, God. Oh, tell me that one's made up. <laughs> no, it's real. That's real. Okay. Well, it's one way to, many different ways to find out, I guess. <laughs> Uh, next one, White Claw Seltzer was originally named Millennial Malt. Are you a White Claw Seltzer fan? How do we feel about White Claw Seltzer? I have a hard time believing that. Is that it's wait, are true. these just... No? Okay. Those you are not, that, that one's but, not true. We made that one up. All right. Uh, ne- next one. Uh, the headline is, Blame Millennials for the Vanishing Bar of Soap. Really? Oh, that's interesting. It's millennials' fault that we don't have I bars can see of that. soap yeah, anymore. Yeah, which is a shame because soap is underrated. Um, <laughs> well, I never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, all this body wash. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, first of all, there's more steps, right? you got to put it into the sponge it's and then you got to wash it with it. The soap, you just grab it. You know what? You know what is poised for a comeback is What's soap that? on a rope. Soap on a rope. <laughs> see, this is, this is what we do here. Yep. I feel like we got to bring back soap on a rope. Yeah. Mayor Pete logos on the soap on a rope there you go right now we should kick that over to the merch we team. gotta like get that. it over to the merch team all right we'll get on that uh Mayor Pete soap on a rope. <laughs> next one millennials are giving up on the paper napkin 80 percent say they use paper towels only you know i'm probably more than halfway there at home come to think of it yeah that yeah, sounds true. true yeah these are all true yeah uh, we've got a couple more. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a different shape. Why have both? I yeah. think that that's right. Also, the the paper roll is is just very efficient. You can just kind of grab it, you know. Yeah, I feel like the that's right. Napkins it's unfold it. Very unwieldy. Yeah. It's completely yeah. unnecessary. Uh, this is one that's maybe not appropriate for a podcast with a presidential candidate. But look, this is what the Fired Up podcast is all about, people. Millennials have a new attitude about cleavage that's forcing restaurant chain Hooters. To close locations and change its strategy. Mm. Sounds like bullshit. It's true. Really? Yeah, no one goes to Hooters anymore. I can see that. But <laughs> I don't think about it as like a new attitude about cleavage, just a new attitude about Hooters. Huh. I think maybe just we don't, yeah, maybe millennials just don't want to see women. You know, my mother way. once took us to a Hooters by. <laughs> Obviously unaware. I was a kid, like completely unaware of what this was. Obviously, uh, and she was so pissed. Like, to this day, I remember. I remember wow. you know, the whole drive back. We were traveling somewhere, and she just thought it was a good family restaurant. And she just kept saying, "I did not order boobs with my burger." <laughs> she was mad. That uh, is incredible, and rightly so. That is incredible. Was your father there too? Just you and your mom? You know, I can't even remember. Uh, I just remember my mother being very displeased. <laughs> 